In this video, I'm going to show us how to enter the guidelines for the centers of our circles and then create our circles, um, <clears throat> which is almost the last thing we're going to do in this drafting assignment. So currently, come, or starting out here, once again, going into my tape measure tool, one thing I'm noticing is I have an extra guideline I'm going to delete here first. <clears throat> that I don't need. I missed it from my last video. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is go to my tape measure tool and I'm going to set up the, the midpoint for the first circle and that midpoint from the green axis over here from the midpoint over is 1 in 7 16. So 1 space 7 16 enter. And I already had one there from earlier. At the same time I need one from the red axis going up and that one should be 1 and 3 eighths, 1 space 3 slash 8, enter. Now that I have this there, I am able to draw my circle, but I'm going to go and finish my other intersections instead of switching tools. So over here I need another one, and from the right-hand side midpoint, um, it is 1 and 3 eighths in, so 1 space 3 eighths, enter. And then from the bottom going up, it is 3 fourths of an inch. <clears throat> three fourths enter now that I have my two intersections this one right here and this one right here I can go switch into the circle tool which is found underneath that rectangle if you hit the letter C <coughs> it takes you to your circle tool this little shortcut when we come in here there's two things you want to do first of all make sure you select the intersection Second of all, make sure that we select on the guideline. It'll help later on, and it'll make this an easier process later on if you always select on a guideline. And then we want to enter our radius. Our radius is 3 fourths for the larger circle. Down here, <coughs> select the intersection. Make sure we select on the line. And then this one right here is 7 sixteenths. Enter. Now, those are our two circles. We have one more thing to add, and that's the addition of that rectangle, that 1 8 by 3 8 rectangle um, up here in our piece in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.